30 as of yesterday. Well, with hurricane season upon us, it's of course important to be prepared and have a plan in place for you and your loved ones. Just as important, creating a plan that includes your four legged friends, your pets. News 13's Ethan Logue, our newest member of the morning show team, joining us live from Zolly Young Dog Park in Panama City to tell us all the details on an event that will be taking place there tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning, Kelsey. And as you can see right in front of me, preparations already underway for tomorrow's event, which will be held at Zali Young Park starting at 8 a.m. It'll go to about noon. And joining me now, one of the many individuals helping out with this event, Scott Jackson. Scott, thank you so much for waking up with us this morning. First off, kind of walk me through what we're seeing right here in front of us for in terms of pet preparations for storm season. Sure, we just wanted to bring to everybody's attention that we are, you know, celebrating Bring Your Dog to Work Day and no better way to celebrate than to think about our furry friends as we get ready for hurricane season. So what you see in front of you is a variety of different things that are recommended by Animal Control here locally and also by ASPCA. And so we have those lists on our uh, Bay County Extension UFI site that you can go to and you can get all the checklists that we have and uh, we just brought to life that those lists and we'll have those examples here tomorrow with us. And I see you got a stack of records with you. Mm -hmm. What are some of the important forms or records that people need to fill out? Sure, one of the records that I have with me is my pet records. Uh, I have Emmy over here, we have off camera and we have another dog here, Rocky. Uh, but we have their records here with us to use as examples and uh, we'll have several uh, dogs here tomorrow that we can kind of talk to their owners and their pets um, too and um, we have uh, different uh, photos of pets that we recommend people not only have their health records with them you know all your vaccinations and be sure that you're up to date on that but you also have like a, a photo so that if you uh, happen to be in an emergency situation where you're not uh, you know as prepared to be um, just be ready for uh, the potential to be separated from a pet. To be reunited with your pet is going to be a whole lot easier if you have a, uh, have a photo. That would be a rare circumstance. We don't expect anything like that to happen, uh, but we just want to be prepared. Uh, oftentimes, if you go back and think about the emergencies that we had, even with the fire, no one was, you know, disassociated with their pet. But we don't know what types of emergencies are going to come up. We're preparing for hurricane season, but really when we talk about pet preparedness, we're talking about all different types of emergencies, and oftentimes they come when you least expect it. Right. And again, this event will start at 8 a.m. tomorrow. We'll go to noon right here at the Zolly Young Park. Kelsey? All right, thanks so much, Ethan. Now let's take a look at some of your latest business headlines this morning. Ryan